Cool and proper lubrication while machining is vital to being a successful machinist, but it can get tricky. Dealing with coolants can be a challenge, and that's not just because you're dealing with giant vats of liquid. Like everything else in the world of machining, there are a million different methods and scenarios to consider when choosing your cutting lubrication. First, you'll notice that I'm lumping lubrication and coolant together. Coolant is the term most often used, but the use of this substance is threefold. Cooling your tools, lubricating the cutting process, and clearing chips. What you're cutting and how you're cutting it will determine how you use coolant and the method of delivery. Flood coolant literally floods, sometimes blasts, your part with this liquid. This helps get chips out of the way while also lubricating and cooling your tool. Depending on what you're cutting, the mess is typically worth it. Mist coolant is another option. It uses a combination of air and coolant to deliver a saturated mist at your cutter. This helps clear chips and lubricates, but it doesn't do much cooling. And then there's boring old air. No lubrication and only a little cooling, but it does clear those chips. So how do you know which coolant setup to use? This depends on two defining factors, your cutting tool and your stock or the material you're cutting. For the sake of simplicity and to keep this video under a few hours long, we'll just focus in on high speed steel versus carbide cutters. Carbide tools can get much hotter than high speed steel and therefore are more susceptible to thermal shocking. Meaning different parts of the cutter expand by different amounts, causing the cutter to chip, break, or even explode. This means that you typically want to go light on the coolant while using carbide tools. High speed steel is more flexible, so no explosions, but it will still get hot, so flood coolant is recommended. Without coolant on high speed steel, you run the risk of extremely fast tool wear or even the tool welding itself to your part. The stock you're cutting will change how you use your coolant as well. Aluminum is known to be a forgiving material because it's a soft metal, but that makes it quite gummy. So you're better off using flood coolant. Mist coolant will work, but the deeper your cuts, the more chips you accumulate, meaning more need for chip clearing. On the other hand, steel is a much harder material. This generates more heat while cutting. While steel is less gummy than aluminum, the chips can still build up. With a hot cutter, and mounting chips, it's best to keep things clear of your tool with an air blast technique. Now, stainless steel is harder yet, but still has some of the gummy features of aluminum, so flood coolant with high lubricity is ideal. So let's mash all these concepts together. Say we're machining aluminum with a high-speed steel cutter. You should flood the part with coolant to keep the tool cool. If we're cutting aluminum with a carbide tool, we can avoid using flood coolant because carbide can withstand the cutting temperatures without excessive wear. You'll still want to use mist coolant with high lubricity to prevent the aluminum from sticking to the tool. Deep pocketing in aluminum with a carbide tool brings up yet another possible configuration. Because we're talking about a pocket, air or mist isn't enough to clear the chips out. Though you could get by with it if you needed to. Flood coolant can remedy this situation, keeping both the chips clear and the tool well lubricated. While it's ideal to have the exact coolant prescription for a given material cutter combination, you don't need to uproot your entire setup every time you cut a new material or use a new type of cutter. Your finish or tool wear or cycle time may suffer a bit, but you can make just about anything work. Check out all of our latest videos here. And for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.